Welcome back to another episode of Balling with today, guys. It's breaking news. Uh, just on my timeline today, talking about the G-Men, uh, another team in our division, New York Giants. Uh, they're getting even better. They just traded for Cardinals linebacker slash safety Isaiah Simmons for a seventh round draft pick. Cardinals, what are you doing? Please let me know. If y'all want to send Kyler Murray too. Bring him on over. But we got Sam Howell, so we don't even want him. But for anybody that wants him, you might as well send them off. Y'all sending everybody off. Going away party, huh? First, DeAndre Hawkins. Um, man, I feel sorry. Well, J.J. Watt retired. DeAndre Hawkins gone. Uh, Kyler Murray, I don't know what's going on. First of all, the coach's gone. I don't know what happened. I forgot his name, but he took. he's taken off for like a whole year, bro. And he's still getting paid. So, Cardinals is... They drafted Will Anderson. Uh, I believe so. No, they didn't draft Will Anderson. They traded back. So I don't know what the Cardinals are doing. Um, they're just trying to make it's a re- con- total, complete, reconstructed rebuild right now. They're giving away players. They're just giving the best players away for talent. Uh, if y'all want to send Buda Baker our way, though, I'll, we definitely would take him for it for a seven round draft pick too. <clears throat> Cardinals will probably be one of the worst teams this season. Uh, we actually played them week one of the NFL season. Kyler Murray is out um, for at least half the year, and he probably will stay out for the whole season. No point for him to come back if they barely winning games. Uh, just throw him in the fire and to still run around like the little rascals, you know. Uh, but let's hop right back into the Isaiah Simmons trade and how it's going to make the G-Men a better team. Um, so the Cardinals did – decline a Simmons fifth year option uh meaning he'd be a uh, free agent next offseason so this I uh, believe the Giants will have the uh opportunity to pay him after this season as well um and also Isaiah Simmons will get to see uh or play against the Cardinals week two after we play them so they're playing the NFC East this year um yeah for a seventh round 2024 pick he's a dog man uh I did barely watch too many Cardinals games but I do know his name Wrong bells. Uh, we can definitely put on his highlight tape. But other than the highlight tape, let's take a look at his uh, combine 40 yard dash. Nine. The linebacker's doing that, guys. It's not normal. Let's take a look at this. On the outside, smacking your running back. No lie. Um, Dove Kilman tweeted out uh, Isaiah Simmons was a for overall pick in the 2020 draft a couple three years ago. So why are you trading your one of your best players on your team that you you know trying to rebuild around? Uh, and he's now traded for a seventh round pick. He's a first round eighth overall pick, and now you traded for a seventh round. So what are the Cardinals even doing? What's going on with this organization? I don't know. It baffles me right now. They're not really uh, level-headed. I don't know what they're trying to do. Um, I thought my face would come over to the next page, but it didn't. So um, this is what he also ran, 4-3-9 at the Combine. He's a 6'4 athlete, 238 pounds with 20 bench press on the 225, I believe. Uh, and we have one more tweet. Um... Of course, he actually uh, broke it down to safety slash linebacker. Um, pretty crazy. Would have make it right there, Captain. When you wear a, a number under 10, you wear a single-digit number on your team, bro. You're going to do something special, bro. So I don't know why they're playing with my boy right here. Um, in this article, just Giants have decided to position uh, what they want to use Simmons in, play linebacker safety. Um, and these are some of his stats so far. 258 tackles in his career, 11 QB hits, seven and a half sacks, four interceptions, 16 pass defended, and seven forced fumbles. So it seems like he's an all-around linebacker, the line, uh, safety. You can put him at any position on the field, honestly, and he's going to do uh, numbers. Um, I didn't take a look at the Giants' schedule or roster, but we can do that right now. And I think, um, I think this Tuesday coming up is actually. Uh, the 53 man roster but giants do have a pretty good team and um 
I guess this is just the starters right here for receivers. Even the um, rookie running rookie receiver you guys drafted from Tennessee, Jalen Hyatt, he's on the second um, string. But he's definitely going to move his way up. Probably move over Hodgins or Slayton. Slayton's been pretty crazy. Uh, up and down seasons are you know, catching the ball. So we'll see. Uh, and he could move them around pretty pretty good too. I love Paris Campbell. He's a great receiver. Um, Barkley, of course, he's going to do his thing. Daniel Jones. See, you know, he's got the big contract. See how he's performed with that. They do have the one of the better left tackles in the league now. Andrew Thomas, he's definitely up there with a name. The addition of Darren Waller, though. Darren Waller and Jalen Hyler are going to be the two um, additions on offense that I and Paris Campbell uh, I'm um, excited to see for as a Washington Commanders fan. I don't want to see, you know, them doing great versus us. But, of course, um, and then, you know, Barkley's one of the better running backs. So they have a good team. And it's how to play call Daniel Jones. They put Daniel Jones in the position to have one of his better careers, which led him to that contract extension. Uh, so here's a look at some of the other running receivers. Jameson Crowder, he's still a vet on the team. Cole Beasley, um, questionable players, but they were pretty great. Now let's get to the defense. The defense, I didn't know it was a 3-4 base, but that's the Lawrence. He's uh, up there with Jonathan Taylor. I mean, not Jonathan Taylor, Jonathan Allen. Um, as far as D tackles in the division, um, and Der Deron Payne, we're both uh, you know, Washington Commanders has a, a, a stout D line, but Leonard Williams, Kayvon Thibodeau, and Dexter Lawrence, Giants are up there with us competing as well with the Eagles. Like, so we, all these teams in the division are pretty good. Um, and hopefully my team doesn't finish last, but they you know that's what they're putting us at. Um, like I said, this D line, Leonard Williams, Kayvon Dexter, that is crazy right there. Uh, they, I believe they had one of the better linebackers, too. Um, I can't remember which guy it was, but uh, I just seen a posting about it. But you add Isaiah Simmons to this lineup um, with the other starting. Uh, we'll see how their uh, defensive backs ranks upon this season. But the Giants has a, a chance to do something pretty good. Now, let's see the Giants' uh, win record. See if we can bring that up real quick on here. They even got my commanders on here for a minute. Win totals. Let's see how much the uh, Giants are. 10 wins. Okay, you can go 10 wins. Let's just go to the regular season. So now they have the New York Giants 7.5 wins. Over or under that. I am a betting man, and I will go over. Seven and a half wins. Giants will win at least eight games this season, no doubt. Um, just like last season, all of the teams in the NFC East were supposed to go to the playoffs. They messed us up in the uh game versus our second game versus the Giants, where they uh did not call a pass interference on Terry McLaurin. Let that go. That stopped us from getting into the playoffs. But we would have been the first division ever to have all four teams in the playoffs, and I think that could be a possible thing again this season if we all play good. Dallas is uh, in the air, questionable in Washington Commanders. With this signing with the Giants, you, I see you guys as a serious contender uh, to win the division. Um, seven and a half wins is very doable for the Giants. I would bet that. I'm a betting man. Uh, we're going to come back to more videos of um, over and under for total season wins. I'm going to make a full video of that. But, guys, the Giants, New York Giants just got better. They traded for Isaiah Simmons for a seven-round draft pick. Uh, he's going to start. He's going to do be a playmaker. Uh, and with the additions of Darren Waller on offense, uh, I'm excited to see how the New York Giants compare, compete this season. But for sure, I will bet over eight wins for the New York Giants. Sad to say. Um, and hopefully, you know, my team is going to get their wins too. But with that being said, thank you guys. Like, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're going to go with more in depth of every team this season. More highlights, more videos, more coverage, more news, more podcasts, more uh, sports challenges, more sports bets. All that, the nine yards. Uh, catch you guys on the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe again. Boom!